I've been a finisher painter for many years, um, and I did a Frank Lloyd Wright house, and I got sent to Sweden, and I learned about all these products, and one of them was a linseed oil soap, which I found that they used everywhere. So I figured out how to make it, and I'm starting to make it now. Um, and it's all natural. It's, uh, it's flaxseed oil. It's organically grown flaxseed oil. It, the soap is great. You could use it for virtually anything. It's great on woodwork, like your wood floors, uh, cleans decks really well, cleans wood furniture outside, it, uh, cleans, you can clean your whole house. The nice thing about the flaxseed oil, you know, if you did use it for the shower or on your skin, you know, it's got omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids in the oil, so it's, it's really good for, your, you know, good for your skin. And there's no chemicals in it. One way that I use it around the house is, or working, is I put a little bit of water in the bottle, just add a little bit, you know, not a lot. And that, uh, you'll fi it'll feel soapy when you feel the water. And when I do this, I have a bucket of hot water usually. And I go around, like if you want to clean your banister or your trim in your house or uh, some, even some furniture, you know, you spritz the surface, uh, you know, have a wet rag and you know, wipe it down. It takes fingerprints off grates. Um, and then you just wring out the rag again and just wipe it again, you know. You use very little water with it. Uh, like if you want to clean your floors, um, you can just add it right to the bucket and you know you can either use a rag uh, and mop the floor or um, you can use an actual mop. Like when I'm cleaning a uh, deck or furniture that's really uh, got has like algae on it or lots of weathering, um, the soap takes it right off so you know you wet the surface first and then um, I put a little bit of soap directly on the scrubber. I, this is like a Choi Boy um, that you, you buy here. Um, and I use a deck brush and I, to hold it. Or you could just use a brush. Put it right on the brush, you know, scrub it. And then you can either hose it off um, or just take a rag if you don't want to use a lot of water and have a bucket of water and, you know, wring out the rag and wipe it off. Like it cleans your shower grate, you know, it takes the scum off, uh, sh you know, shower scum. Um, I do work on boats, so I use it to clean the teak on boats. So to clean a really nice piece of furniture, you know, very low water, you know, maybe you wring out a rag and you just kind of spritz the rag a little bit and wipe the surface and then, and then just wring out the rag again and, and you know, a second time. So we're gonna go for pretty much any surface. And it work, it's, pretty, it's pretty safe. On a, in, like in the shower, I use it, use it direct. Like if uh, you know, I'm on a shave with it, I just put a little bit on my hand, you know, and, Lather up and, and uh, I assume it's not abrasive for like certain type of showers. It, yeah, yeah, no, it's not abrasive at all. It's uh, it, it, uh, very, very water soluble. Can I smell it? Yeah, sure. No? It smells familiar. Yeah. Like, I can, like, yeah. Your grandmother used it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's kind of like a nutty smell. Yeah. yeah. I like it a lot. Thank you for the demonstration. All right, very good.